Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your May 1st through 7th weekly reading. Gemini, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with every single one of you. Please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Rudy. I appreciate you all being here. If you are returning, thank you so much for your trust and support, your likes and subscribes, all your energies. I appreciate all you guys. All right, guys. We are doing a new format. We're doing three cards for health and three cards for wealth and finance, or wealth and work, sorry, finance and work, and three cards for love. Let me know if you like this format or if you want to go back to just the standard three card reading. I'm going to start out with health for Gemini. All right, health for Gemini. Six of Swords, Four of Swords, and Five of Cups. Hmm. All right, guys. We have moving out of some turbulence. Mo moving out of something that maybe was drama-filled or not good for your mental health. Uh, moving into clearer space, clearer waters, clearer thinking. Uh, really bringing in some type of harmony into your life. I feel like you've done this yourself. Uh, you may have, may have sought help and that's fine, but I, I just feel like you are really trying to um, to move into a better headspace, move, move into better mental clarity, mental space. Uh, we have the Four Swords. This talks about giving yourself time, allowing yourself time, resting, take the time needed to get to where you need to be. Uh, don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a rush. Um, give the thoughts a rest. Give the thoughts a break. And then allowing yourself the process of grieving. Allowing yourself the process of maybe being sad over a situation. You know, um... Always seeing what you do have. Always seeing what will hold you up. I almost feel like this is kind of kind of like depression. Where you go into that dark space. You know there's people there that love you. And that will support you and hold you up. Sometimes you just have to be here. But try not to be here too long. You know. Try to move yourself out of that space. And also try to... Um, Try to be in this space in different situations, like they're outside, you know. Get out of a dark room or get out of under the covers type of energy. If you need to have this time, make sure that you can contemplate things in, in maybe fresh air or on a walk or on a jog or something like that. But know that you have love around you and you have a lot of people that will lift you up. But you are definitely moving. You're definitely moving into a clearer space. You're definitely moving into clearer headspace. You're definitely moving out of rough waters into calmer waters. And you need to commend yourself for every movement you do make that is in the positive. A good pat on the back. A treat. You know, a treat. All right, we have wealth, finances, and work. Finances and work. No, finances and career. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. We have the Hermit. We have the Six of Wands. And we have the Star card. Again, the Hermit talks about going within. Really talks about going into that void. It really talks about going into that darkness. And it's not always in a... In a in a depression way, it's, this is in a way of trying to reach clarity. Could be about, again, a job, your career, your finances. Could be trying to figure out a different way around something. There's victory here. I just feel with these two cards, they're so similar to me with the stars. Uh, the star is a wish card. It's what you want to manifest. It's what you're trying to manifest. 
And I think with the hermit, this is a this is a personal to you. This is personal to you. Could be something at work you're trying to manifest. It could be something at work you're trying to maybe get a raise or get promoted or get seen. Stars about shining. The stars about your dreams. Stars about your wishes. Manifesting what you want. Calling it in. I just feel too with this card, it's like, um, it's like you want to be seen or you want to be recognized for something, but you don't want the recognition. There could, there is recognition coming because you have the six of wands. So, you know, management or higher up, will see what you do, will recognize something that you've done or, um, instigated or started in a good way there could be a raise here there could be promotion here but you are being seen you're being seen for your work you're being seen for what you have developed or started or um well you were part of you might have been the leader of something you might have been the leader of a project of some sort. And I think you'd rather work by yourself in a perfect world. But you have to um, technically come out of your shell and play the game is what I keep hearing. But I think in a perfect world, it's just like, you know, tell me what I have to do. I'll do it. And I really don't want all this um, spotlight on me. But sometimes that comes with. Right? Sometimes that comes with. All right. And again, it can come with a raise. It can come with uh, money. Love. The Emperor. Card of Aries. The moon, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And the nine of swords. Hmm. The emperor is a card of taking charge of the situation, being a leader. Um. In a relationship, in love, you could be looking for somebody. You could be looking for the person you want to be with. You could be very picky. Um, and not that that's a bad thing. It's just, I feel like you know what you want and you're not going to settle for less. Uh, if you're not with somebody. If you're with somebody, it could be... Um, where you or your partner maybe want to... direct the relationship in a certain way there could be a little bit of um issue there because maybe it's not talked about or maybe it's it's not uh agreed upon so to speak there's some type of hidden deception or hidden um something that's not that you are fully not seeing maybe something that a partner's keeping from you or something that um, could be facing your fears. It could be too. Um, I, I almost feel like, okay, if you're in a relationship, if it's getting serious or if it's getting real, so to speak, <clears throat> It could be putting some fear in you and you could have some doubt. You could be letting those fears come in. The anxiety and worry and the what ifs. Maybe from a past relationship that hasn't healed. I think what, what you're going on is unfoundedness. I don't think there's a cause. I think it's your fear. I think it's whatever it is that you're thinking up. 
if you're in a relationship like that. If you're not in a relationship, again, I, I just think it's kind of the same thing, you know. Maybe you can't find what you want and maybe you're scared to try. That could be everything. If you meet somebody, you could be setting the standards higher and higher and higher so you won't get hurt. Again, if you're in a relationship with the Emperor of the Moon and the Nine of Swords, there could be something hidden that's revealed. There could be something that your partner might be keeping from you or that you might think they're keeping from you, causing you worry and anxiety. Um, if you are truly in a loving relationship, I don't see swords here, which is communication. My first instinct is to communicate. Ask them. Talk to them. Don't assume. Because these two cards here are assuming. And you're worrying yourself sick over something that may or may not be. Talk to them. Clear the air. Get it out in the open. Take charge. Take charge. That's what the emperor would do. It would take charge of a situation. Nine of Swords is our worry and anxiety, sometimes letting it get the better of us. Bottom of the deck, it's a Sun card. This is a card of, this is your um, subconscious energy. And this just tells me that for everything concerned here, you know everything's going to be okay. You know that there's a reason for things. You know that um, the, the outcome is very favorable. And it can come from the, the mental, uh, bringing that mental clarity, mental stability into balance. Will help with everything. Will help with worry and anxiety. Will help with uh, stress. Will help with um, taking care of unfounded circumstances or thoughts. I just see the moon card as, you know, these two shadows down here. If you were seeing those two shadows, you might think wolf or coyote or something. And then there's, um, looks like a Dalmatian and a dog. So what we think can be a lot scarier than what really is. And the moon's also a card of dreams. If you don't have somebody in your life, manifest them. Dream. Think about what you want. One more card for you. I'm going to pull an oracle for you. For Gemini, May 1st through 7th. Oops, it's going to pull itself. Memory. Memory. Hmm. Okay. This is Crow Never Forget. Crows never forget a friend or a foe. In a changing populated landscape, these remarkable remarkable birds recognize the faces of those who have hurt as well as helped. When a crow spots a predator or known human who has been less than kind. They go into a frenzy, calling out all the danger is near. They spread the word about the good stuff too, such as people who tend to share their lunch or places where food is often discarded. What is remarkable is they also pass down the memory of their experiences to their young. As complex as these birds are, forgiveness does not seem too likely. Memory asks you to examine areas where you may be letting a past hurt or a situation impact how you engage with someone today. I believe that's everything we've just said. Are you cautious? Are you holding a grudge? Do you expect others to behave in a certain way because of past behavior? Right. 
I believe that's what we said through the whole reading. So there you go. I love it when it wraps up that way. Oh, Gemini, let me know how this resonates with you. Good luck to you. Remember, subconscious energy is the sun. You know what's inside of you. You know. You can let it shine. Others will see it. You don't have to... Um, you don't have to be blatantly out there for that, you know. They, they'll they see the way. Show them the path. Let others know everything will be okay too. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Please stay safe and healthy, Gemini. Until next week. Bye for now.